Hey everybody, welcome back to Jeff Bowles Central doing a game review in two parts for you. This is the Bayonetta Vanquish 10th Anniversary Collection, I guess it is. It's like a two set. Uh, just came out the other day. Both games uh, by Platinum Games, uh, Bayonetta, the original Bayonetta and Vanquish, available for the first time on the current gen in glorious 4K if you're so uh, uh, disposed, if you can if you can swing it uh, like Bayonetta swings her legs around. Oh yeah, this is one sexy chick. Well, let's first address the, 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 the sexuality of this game because... Um, you know, when it came out in 2010, it made big waves for being ridiculous and chauvinist in equal measures. And in 2010, that was okay, that was acceptable. I don't know how acceptable people will find it in 2020 because times really have changed. And it really is very uh, hypersexualized and very um, physically uh, demeaning <laughs> to women, I think. Um, but that's, that's an issue, like, that's, that's a thing, and, and, you know, people will be commenting on it. Um, other than the fact that, that it has that going on for it, I mean, you could take it as a joke, if you were so inclined, because it is so over-the-top and ridiculous otherwise. But apart from all that, this really is still, um, a brilliant, wonderful, incredibly fun um, third-person action game that maybe the graphics haven't really held up all that well even though you know in 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 the newer you know re revamped version of it it looks pretty good like it looks really good the only thing that's really out of date is character models um, but the fidelity of the image makes this game look unlike it ever looked well maybe on PC but we don't count PC um, and you know, when this game came out, I didn't really play a whole lot of it. I just don't think it was on my radar back then. So I'm really, really glad to get this chance to um, check out the full thing. It's such a great game. It really, really is. Yeah, the story's ridiculous, and yeah, it is chauvinist. Um, but, like, this has got some of the best action gaming that you will ever find. Like... If, if, if you look at all the action games that have been made in the 10 years since this came out, um, some have met it, but very, very, very few have topped it, really. Especially lately, I've noticed that, I've noticed that action games have gotten a bit lazy. I love the, <laughs> love the executions. Kicking the dude in the ass and then chopping his head off with guillotine. Um, you know, like, I've played some really, some, some, some well-regarded action games of the last two or three years that just that just aren't as good as this they don't have the variety they don't have the craziness they don't have the just the insanity and i mean you know this the the people who made this was a special group of people uh <laughs> special being the operative word perhaps um because what's so great about it is the depth of it but also the ease of it it's it's for the most part, timing based, and for the most part, especially once you start going up against the heavier enemies of the game, um, you have to dodge just at the right time to activate kind of a slowdown mode that really lets you unleash your power. And between the dodging, the shooting, the additional weapons you can equip, and your basic attacks, and all the finishers and everything, it really is great. It's like really, really engrossing. A whole lot of fun. They don't make games like this anymore, that's for sure. Um, and so here's the story. The story is that you are a witch named Bayonetta, uh, who's got some memory issues, maybe took a few two knocks to the head. And, you know, while you're trying to... See, this is, this is a fine example of <laughs> the hypersexuality. Um... And in order to kind of figure out who you are again, you've got to take on all sorts of baddies. But the, the interesting thing about this is that she's a witch who's an angel slayer. She's not a demon hunter. She's not, she's not, she's not against the forces of hell. She is most definitely against um, the, the light, the angels. Um, which is an interesting twist on the trope. 
because we've seen demon hunters a million times and it allows for some truly creative and kind of wonderful wonderful enemy variants including the bosses i mean like you know this guy right here every, everything's got like statue statuesque um but also monstrous kind of means to them um and you know some of the boss f fights are just absolutely brilliant in the way that they're composed and the way that they're segmented and the different types of strategies you're going to have to employ i mean each one has several stages which each is very different from the last and it's always fun and it's always arcadey but deep at the same time which is great like i mean I don't know this 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 really is this was a surprise for me because like i said back in 2010 it just wasn't on my radar trust me i've always been a heavy gamer but sometimes things slip past you know um so yeah i mean it's 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 held up very 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 well socially culturally maybe not so much and you know it really it really needs to be said that that um you know, the culture that spawned this Japan and the culture that I'm reviewing it in America, we do have very chauvinist tendencies in our cultures. Uh, and that's kind of a global thing. Sort of kind of has been since, you know, the dawn of history. Um, and it also has to be said that there are people in this world right now working to wipe that out um, and to have actual equality and to have no gender be less than any other gender um and you know you could argue yeah it's just sexy fun everything is so ridiculous anyway you can't take it seriously and i'd be willing to go there for you with it i'm kind of of two minds about it like it is fun and it is ridiculous and honestly by itself sex is not an offensive thing um but it is a little much it really is. In the year 2020, something like this right here, it's a little much. Um, and, you know, it's not just games, it's movies, it's comic books. And, you know, the storm that was always coming in regards to gender politics has come. Um, and so things like this now need to be reckoned with. So I don't know, I don't know how you feel about that, where you land on that. I would say if you can stomach a little bit of political incorrectness, if I can use that word because that's such a loaded phrase now. If you can stomach that, here's the ass kicking again. I, I'm going to take myself seriously. <laughs> Tell us, Professor Jeff. Uh, if you can stomach that, this is still a wonderful game. It's definitely worth your attention. The Vanquish review will be up next in a few days. So you can see the full package. Very excited for that one, too. But for the first half of the package, Bayonetta, gets a 9 out of 10 from Jeff Bowles Central. Very deserved. Still a great game. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. Forget the visuals. <laughs> hey, everybody. Do me a favor. This is my latest novel, God's Body, book one, The Fall. It's about giant gods falling to earth and killing each other and then there's a huge global fallout that occurs and it's about the personal lives and the stories involved there's a lot of humor there's a lot of horror there's a lot of pulpiness Woo if you're not entertained not only will i give you your money back i will come to your house and i will let you hit me in the face do you hear that world author jeff bowles Wants you to buy his book just so that you can hit him in the face. In the face!